Hi everybody, um, we're just going to go over some ABG analysis using the row me method and before we get started just want to go over some things here. Remember the whole point um, of our body is to try to keep our pH levels um, within this range over here which is 7.35 to 7.45 and the way that our body does that is through compensatory mechanisms and measures and with that we'll see our lungs which will adjust our CO2 levels and then our kidneys with our bicarbonate levels. Remember again CO2 is acidic so the higher the number it's more acidic with bicarb it's more basic so higher the number is more basic and remember too kind of in the middle the 7.4 right here anything that is moving in this direction is going to be more alkalytic anything moving this direction of that 7.4 is going to be more acidic okay and so just also remember too that with Rome it stands for respiratory opposite metabolic equal okay so let's uh, go ahead and just jump right into a problem first one we're going to do here let's say our pH level is 7.34 our CO2 let's say that is 24 and then our bicarb is going to be 20 okay so let's first take a look at our pH and determine which way it's going so three point excuse me 7.34 is on the lower end so that's going to be acidic so our arrow is going to be pointing downwards we look at our CO2 and 24 is less than 35 so it is going down so our arrow will be pointing down and 20 is going to be at this end too so it's less than so the arrows are going to be going down so first thing we want to do is kind of establish whether it's acidic or basic and we're always going to look at our pH for this so we're going to look at this value so 7.34 is that acidic or basic um, hopefully you said that is acidosis so it's going to be acidosis next step we need to do is look at whether this is a respiratory or metabolic problem again our co2 is is going to be driven through our lungs so that's going to be our respiratory aspect where our bicarb over here that is going to be based off of our kidneys which is metabolic so remember respiratory op opposite metabolic equal so in comparison with our ph here see this arrow is going down this one's going down are they opposite no they are not then, then we're going to take a look at our pH here and compare it to our bicarb and this is the metabolic portion and they are going the same direction so remember res respiratory opposite metabolic equal they are equally moving in the same direction here so this is going to be metabolic acidosis okay the last thing we want to talk about is compensation and again remember compensation also means um, to kind of get back to to give back um, the body wants to get back to this level of homeostasis the way that happens is going to be through the utilization of the lungs and the kidneys so let's take a look at our pH first is the pH within normal range nope so since it's not in normal range we're going to move on and look at both of our partial pressure of co2 and our bicarb are either one of these in normal range i hope you said the answer is no so the thing to remember is that when our ph is out of balance we want both of our co2 and bicarb to be abnormal because it means that they're working that they're doing their part to try to get your ph back to homeostasis so part is in part of the word partial so here we have partial compensation when both your partial pressure of CO2 and bicarb are abnormal. So we have metabolic acidosis, partial compensation. Okay, so let's do another one. 
Um, let's erase all this. Okay. Okay. All right. So next one we're going to take a look at. Let's see here. All right. So next value that I'm going to give you, if you want to start writing this down, is seven point seven point four five. Next one is going to be 50, and last one is going to be 30. All right, so 7.45 is this acidic or basic. Well, don't freak out. I know it's within the normal range, but in terms of 7.4, is it moving more towards the basic side or the acidic side? So it is moving more to the basic side, so our arrow is going to go up. But since you noticed right away that this is within normal range, I kind of do a zero here. So that will kind of remind me that that is a normal value. Move over to our CO2. It's 50, so our arrow is going to go up. And 30, again, that's greater than 28, so we're going to go up. All right, so we need to make a determination if this is acidic or basic or alkalotic. So 7.45 is leaning more towards the alkalotic side. So we'll have alkalosis. Okay. So we've done that by the pH. Then we need to decide if this is respiratory or metabolic. Respiratory opposite, metabolic equal. So obviously these are going the same direction here. So it's not a respiratory issue because remember the lungs. So then we're going to compare the pH to our bicarb, and they're going the same direction. So this is metabolic alkalosis. Now we're going to talk about compensation here. So the first thing you do is look at the pH, and is it within normal range? Well, yes, it is. So once it's in normal range, it's full compensation. And you don't need to look at your other two values. Okay, so the last one that we're going to do here, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Because we're just going to kind of run through all the different compensations, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, so the last one that I will do for you, let's see, we're going to do a value of 7.1. Then we're going to do partial pressure card of CO2 of 40 and then of 18. Okay, so 7.1, we're going down. 40 um, is dead in the middle there, so we're just going to do a big circle because it's neither up or down because 40 is right in the middle. And then 18, it's going to be going down. So let's make a determination. Is this acidic or, or uh, basic? Since 7.1 is acidic, acidosis. Is this respiratory or metabolic? So let's compare these two. This is going absolutely nowhere here, um, just because it is at its level of homeostasis. So then we look on the outside and we have metabolic acidosis. Now in terms of compensation, we take a look at here. Is our pH out of range? Yes, it is. So let's continue on. Is both our CO2 and bicarb abnormal? Nope. Looks like our CO2 is uh, at the normal range. So we have to make an establishment that um, this is not partial compensation. This is actually no compensation. Because the way I like to look at it is that both your CO2 and your bicarb need to work together. 
if one is lax on the job, um, then there's no compensation going on. They're not both working together to try to correct the pH here. So that's one way to look at it versus like the last example when they're both abnormal, they're both doing their part um, to try to adjust the pH which would make it partial compensation. So I hope just going through these three um, examples here kind of give you a sense. If you have any other questions, you certainly know how to get a hold of me. Um, good luck studying and take care.